uh, how much of a factor is parang kino-consider ng isang player to resign with the team if say you guys are winning versus a very you know fair and Ooh. solid and competitive contract. 'Di ba? Kasi maraming ganyan sa NBA wherein people would say I'd take a pay discount pag nanalo tayo, right? Or if we're a championship team or if it, or, or if it means us being able to bring in this prized free agent, right? Ganun din ba sa local setting natin? Well, I don't think we need to do that here in NLEX na, you know, players are gonna mm. take a pay cut because, you know, NLEX is a very successful company. And mm. um, I think the management knows um, that we have a budget na um, it's it's fair, more than fair to, to players actually. Yeah. And I understand that uh, a lot of Players want to be in the top teams, Hinebra, San Miguel, uh, TNT. But NLEX is a great destination to 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 go to to play. Super at if, if they think about it, we're just not we just we've just not been winning consistently as much as we we want to. But um, if if you ask other players who've been here, there's no reason why they wouldn't want to play in NLEX. But I think it's more than the financial aspect. Also, I mean. Enlex can give the that kind of you know benefit to to, to players. Oh, ah, no? Ako, um, there is. I don't know if you've seen the the pyramid of success by John Wooden. Na, For sure, mm, yeah. A beautiful a uh, picture of how to to build culture in 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 a team. And you know, I just look at that every day here in my office, and I just realize, and daming, there's a lot of things to work on. Um, to to make a, a winning culture, um, to make it conducive for for players. It's not just yes. uh, playing yes. winning. Uh, it's you know it's life after basketball. It's relationships. It's yes. Uh, people want to wow. go here, diba? a, a lot of those things. So it's not just um, X and O's na you know what people yeah. see. Natandaan ko nga, Matt. I think Chris Paul sort of mentioned this in 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 the podcast of JJ Reddick. No, sabi niya hmm. bakit Bakit sa NBA and even the fans themselves, bakit parate championship or not championship lang yung results nila lagi. Like mm-hmm. if if you're a team, you're for example, let's say Philadelphia 76ers currently, who's a super successful team with the MVP currently, but they can never mm-hmm. get over that championship hump. Parang palpak na agad sila for the fans, right? And I think based yeah. on what Larry said, maganda sinabi niya, no? Parang the way you treat your players as well internally. Right is a very huge culture factor, yeah, right? Yeah, um, I, I, we want to be a team where um, players would say, "You know what? I, I, I want to play in NLEX. It's Dan fun na. going to work. Um, the the people there respect each other, and you know, there's more than it's more than basketball. There's a nice uh, quote that I, I I posted recently in my threads by Andy Rooney. He said, everyone wants to live on top of the mountain, but all the happiness and growth occurs while you're climbing it. So, I thought about it. Actually, if your happiness is going to be based on that, lang, winning or or nothing, then I'm not going to disappoint every year because it's only one that can win, right? But uh, Ganda. there's exactly. so much to, to be thankful for and to be part of a basketball team lang na it's not just a championship it's just a trophy it's just a number one um tag that you have after every conference after every season but after that wala na, there's just more to to life to it that, than that so you know you can be really happy and you can go into a culture where you may not win a championship but uh you find a lot of fulfillment and thankfulness from it grabe napakaganda right. doon uh, grave, no? I mean, <laughs> I was just. Imagining. I think it's very realistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 